What's up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here and today we're going to break down the mental barriers of the psychiatrist in Katana Zero. In this video, we'll explore theories that attempt to explain the possible origin and purpose of this character in the overall narrative. So without further ado, let's get started. The man known as the psychiatrist serves as Zero's therapist throughout the narrative. Unlike most in his profession, the unnamed psychiatrist is also a government operative for New Mecha that supplies Zero with not only regular doses of Kronos, but also dossiers that include assignments on Zero's next target for assassination. Under the guise of a doctor rehabilitating his patient through Kronos addiction, the psychiatrist manipulates Zero into systematically eradicating any parties associated with the distribution of Kronos throughout the districts. Rather than focusing on healing his patient, the psychiatrist utilizes Zero as nothing more than a tool and regards him as subhuman on more than one occasion. In essence, the psychiatrist resorts to using crude positive reinforcement methods that reward Zero with a dose of Kronos after each successful assassination, the very drug that has resulted in his addiction and substance abuse. After witnessing only a handful of interactions between doctor and patient, it is very apparent that the former's intentions are anything but altruistic. Zero serves as an unwilling yet semi-obedient servant whose addiction to Kronos can result in fatal withdrawal symptoms after only a few days. As such, Zero is forced to continue an endless cycle of death and doses at the request of his benefactor. A quick but interesting side note is the fact that the psychiatrist wears a crimson red suit, which is a far cry from the calming blues or whites that are advisable for someone in his position to wear. This choice in garb highlights the symbolic meaning of the color red and represents the psychiatrist's ties to war, blood, danger, anger, and lust for power. Interestingly enough, an alternative ending to Katana Zero alludes to the possibility that the new mecha government had dabbled in creating variants of Kronos, suitable for weaponization and combat. It seems that the psychiatrist himself had such a drug at his disposal. In fact, prior to injecting himself with this unnamed drug, he mockingly states how absurd it is to believe that Kronos was the only drug of its kind. This information, if canon, is incredibly valuable as it provides us insight on just how high up the command chain the psychiatrist may have been. Based on the fact that he was handling a Gamma Null, had direct access to a Kronos variant, owned a key to a top secret underground base, and had the authorization to kill Zero if he uncovered information regarding Kronos production all allude to the likelihood that the psychiatrist held a high station within New Mecha's ranks. However, despite this possibility, he too had to answer to someone. The alternative ending shows the psychiatrist frantically trying to contact his daughter and completely losing any semblance of his composure as he rambles on that he can explain this and they won't come after him. It's evident that he had superiors that were unhappy with his subject's rebellious acts. In the end, even those in power are in servitude to those who possess more power. Ironically, the psychiatrist, despite his rank, authorization, and top secret access, was no more than a puppet in a nice red suit dancing to the tune of his mysterious benefactors who have yet to reveal themselves from the shadowy depths in which they lurk. And that's all for this video, and until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.